Hong Kong's lush forests hold an abundance of life. For ecologist and photographer Marco Chan, it's the little things that matter most. The insects that make up the foundations of our central food chains and ecosystems. We may think that we're the dominant species, but that is true. But behind the scenes, insects control everything. In a way, they're kind of the secret rulers of the world. One of Marco's favorite insects is small yet sophisticated, the ant. And communicate using touch, using vibrations, using chemical signals. So they communicate in a way that sometimes we can't detect. Once we started looking, they were everywhere. Oh, and they're lifting a centipede. Oh yeah, oh, there's a little caterpillar here. Yeah. yeah, check that out. For Marco, the world of insects is bursting with possibility ready to offer ideas to all walks of science and technology. Nature has so much untapped potential. To take inspiration from nature is something that I find really inspiring and really cool as well. So step up the humble ant, tiny yet mighty in its ability to cooperate, communicate and navigate. They need to travel really far compared to their size and still find a way back home. Insects as well as have very little memory to work with. So the strategies they come up with are really simple. That has been the inspiration for the research that I did. Tom van Dyke works with drones at the Micro Air Vehicle Lab at Delft University of Technology. I worked on a drone that should be able to find its way back to its starting location. On these micro drones, there's no room for heavier sensors like LiDAR or high resolution cameras to help it navigate. So Tom looked to one of Ant's ingenious methods of getting from A to B. They use odometry, the measurement of your own movements. And the purpose of it is to have a rough estimate of where you are. The easiest way is to count your steps. Then you have a rough estimate of the distance you traveled. But a rough estimate can lead to what's called drift, or deviating from the path. So one theory suggests foraging ants use a series of visual cues, like mental snapshots of their surroundings to help stay on course. Mimicking that method, Tom's micro drone tracks its movement and takes low resolution images on a tiny camera to reduce drift. And today, he's putting it to the test. This drone is autonomous, meaning that Tom switches it on and allows it to navigate its surroundings by itself to see if it can make its way home, which it did. Yeah, I'm very happy with the flight we did today. I do think like in general, we can look a lot more at nature. There's really smart solutions there that are easy to implement. Detecting gas leaks, helping pollinate crops, and checking warehouse stock are just some of the many applications the team envisages for micro drones like these. What I really hope to achieve with this is that we can keep people out of harm's way and let machines do the really dangerous task. Another student on the Delft University of Technology campus, Chao Xiang Ye, has found inspiration from a different animal, the rabbit. Actually, it was his professor, Salwa Hamaza, who first had the idea for a whisker drone. I've always had a rabbit pet in my life, and I've always been intrigued in the way rabbits, but also mice, navigate in the dark. So they basically use the whiskers and the hair in the bodies to navigate around in the surroundings without the need for seeing the objects. Chaoxiang has designed a micro drone with a biomorphic whisker sensor that can feel its way around like a rabbit. Just imagine a situation. A tiny drone navigates through a dark, dusty, and also narrow cave. The traditional sensor like LiDAR or camera are not visible. So inspired by nature, we can learn from the rodent to explore the world by their whisker in darkness. Like Tom, he hopes this technology could help with dangerous jobs to keep people safe. Salwa hopes these bio-inspired drones can also help protect the source of their inspiration, nature itself. Well, we see more and more now the use of drones for rainforest monitoring. We have these very difficult environments for robots to navigate in such as forests that are full of objects. And in this case, the whiskers would help with the non-intrusive contact because of course they are very gentle 
and very soft. Actually, what I like to say is that my drones are nature-inspired and I want to help for nature conservation.